Sup guys, so today we got Olimar of course, as I promised in my last video. You also may have noticed I added the webcam to this video. I just feel like it might add something to be able to see like my expressions as I'm talking about this stuff. Let me know if you guys think it's a good addition or a bad addition. Anyway, and shout outs to uh, Smash Brothers Spain for a lot of Olimar footage and a lot of new footage for Smash Ultimate in general. There's actually footage for just about every character in good enough quality to analyze if everyone interested in your mains. So with that said, let's get to Olimar. Olimar is being very hyped up by everyone because honestly, he got really, really buffed. I'm going to do a lot of this off of my memory. I do have a document with me. But this character got insane buffs. So his up smash is much less end leg. His brawl tier end leg. Like I saw, in, I think this is match actually, there's a clip where he up smashes Groot's shield and immediately jabs. It looked like he was plus on block even, which is insane because in brawl, that move was absolutely oppressive you could just throw people to up smash like three times in a row and it was broken lots of kill power still comes out pretty fast it seems hitboxes may have been fixed a little bit to have less of a like a sour spot on it so that's crazy especially because in brawl yeah smash 4 all of us up smash was garbage now the next thing i want to talk about is the biggest change for Olimar by far so in smash 4 Olimar's pikmin attacks had item priority on the ground and in the air which meant that, like, if you try challenging an aerial with an Olimar up air, like Fox Nair, Olimar would lose every single time, as long as Fox's Nair hit the Pikmin. In Ultimate, that's no longer the case. Olimar's aerial is not the same property as other aerials, where they're transcendent. They don't clank and get stopped. However, there's a little bit of an exception for this. It seems that if Olimar's attack misses, then you can hit the Pikmin after the aerial is over and kill them. So, like, Sorties would be pretty good at this. With that said... That's massive. So let me explain right now. In Smash 4, I always said Olimar was like top of mid tier, bottom of high tier, somewhere along those lines. But I always used to say if the character had regular aerials like he does now, where he can just beat other aerials with them, assuming he outranges them, he would be high tier, if not top tier. Well, there we go. Olimar, just on that change alone, would be like probably top of high tier, bottom of top tier in Ultimate. That's crazy. And that's not even all the changes. So it looks like the side B damage is buffed. Pretty significantly, I think like what White Pikmin is doing like 4% damage before 1v1 multiplier per tick, which is up from a 3, I think. And the other Pikmin seem to be doing like 2 or 3, somewhere along those lines, but it's also buffed. So now it's even stronger tick damage. His grabs got buffed, sort of. So pretty much every tether character, or tether grab character in the game, so like uh, Lucas, Zero Suit, etc., had very bad frame data on their grabs in Smash 4. And apparently, all those characters got a buff to the end leg of their grabs, all of them are included. Now his pivot grab swings have a little bit less leg, dash grab and standing grab have less leg, and that's insane, actually. His dash grab and standing grab were horribly leg, and his pivot grab was horribly broken. So it's crazy. And also, now grab range is based on two properties, apparently. The amount of Pikmin Olimar has, and the first Pikmin in his lineup. The first Pikmin in his lineup determines the type of grabs, like red, blue, white, and the initial distance of the grab. And the amount of Pikmin just adds X amount of distance to the grab. So that's... So like, for example, when you have all three Pikmin, his grab range is greater than in Smash 4. Apparently two Pikmin is about the same grab range as Smash 4, maybe slightly less, it's hard to say for sure. And then one Pikmin grab is very low range, so you could be grabbing a lot with two and three Pikmin's all of them, which is fine. It just means a little bit less side B usage. But, like, side B being buffed and damaged, and all these other changes, all of them makes that totally great, and honestly, I think this is overall a buff. Because he's got like brawl Olimar range grab with three Pikmin pivot grabs. And that is obscene. Let me tell you now, Olimar brawl was like top three in my opinion, top four. And this character's getting like a lot of the treatment he had in brawl. Also, side B now apparently bounces off shields. So what this means is you throw a Pikmin and someone can shield in Smash 4. And like the Pikmin go off stage and die sometimes. It would be very easy to hit. Now because it's bouncing off shields, I'm guessing you could save the Pikmin easier. It would be a lot harder to hit them. And they're less likely to die. And also, I was thinking of even setups like you throw a Pikmin at someone, like a purple Pikmin, bounces off the shield, you jump and re-grab it with uh, your back facing the opponent so you can do a fastball back air. And that's going to do a lot of shield damage and force points in a really bad spot. Because fastball back air in Smash 4, I forget exactly what it was in shield, but I know it was very good in shield. Pretty much safe shield pressure as long as it was spaced well. So, being able to do that in Smash 4... You're going to be a, uh, ultimate. You're going to force a lot of very scary situations. You can obviously tomahawk people as well, like grab the Pikmin, but land with the down smash to break the shield if they're holding it. Go for a grab. Like, you have so many options. Or, like, throw a blue Pikmin, 
Like, and they showed it, boom, the blue pick is next to him, you can still grab them. And there's just so many things you could do with the fact that Pikmin bounce off the shields. And I don't want to rant on this too long. Just be ready for that, whether you're playing as Alamo or playing against him. Uh, what else was there? So, obviously, landing lag reductions. Forward air, 9 frames landing lag. Um, down air, 15 frames, which is... These are down from 15 and 30 frames, respectively. Um, we haven't seen yet neutral air, back air... Or up air landing lag, it seems. Uh, pummel rate is, of course, faster, but that's all the characters. It seems that even though his aerials now beat other attacks, his uh, ground smash is still have the same item property. So you can't up smash, say, Fox Nair on top of Olimar. You'll just lose to the Nair. So that's like, that makes sense. That's pretty much how Olimar's always been with like his smashes, item properties, beat them pretty easily. Yes, I know this isn't Olimar gameplay. There isn't that much to work with. Oh, so. Supposedly his down B has less end lag now, which in theory means assuming he still has whistle armor, which I believe it does, has been confirmed. That means essentially he has better whistle armor on his down because he can spam it faster. Insane! He had trouble landing in Smash 4 and in Brawl. But in Brawl he got away with using whistle armor spam all the time to land. So if he has that back again, oh boy. And he can act very fast out of it. Like imagine whistle armoring a smash and immediately purple forward smashing someone. And they're dead at like 60. Oh, it's gonna be so good. It seems Pluck Mechanics is still the same, because with three Pikmin. You cannot cancel his up B with attacks, only air dodges, so a lot of characters with similar up B's got the air dodge change. Six for all of them, or whatever. Uh, we don't know how a lot of the Pikmin properties are being changed, like if Sickman's still in, if Pikmin like the SD when you are at the Legend stage and run towards mid stage, and a lot of little things like that. Um, the general mechanic changes really help Olimar. Also, I should mention that since now Olimar can challenge aerials with his aerials, this means when he's challenging downers, or up -ease with downers, it's going to work. One of the biggest flaws of Olimar in Smash 4 was, since a lot of hitboxes for up -ease were pretty big, he couldn't directly challenge them due to his pickle priority, and therefore people got free recoveries on him if he couldn't two-frame them with yellow down smash, which was hard because of how big up -ease were. Now... Downer is going to be amazing on these recoveries. His downer is actually pretty fast. It's a pretty sharp spike. The hitbox isn't that big, but it was big enough to work with. So that's going to be horrifying for people. Combine that with throwing Pikmin off Sage, like Purples, to edge guard them, and lag recoveries, and all these other tricks he had. I'm expecting to actually be a surprisingly good edge guarder. And then finally, general mechanic changes. He got buffed hard from these mechanic changes. So his recovery still looks amazing due to his floatiness and his up speed and just general utility and changing the speed, height, all that stuff. I think having the direction air dodge helps him a lot more than most characters because he was slow in the air. He like, he barely moved. Now he actually has the option to just go whoop, whoop. And I really think this is going to be so amazing for the character. Like a lot of the other characters who have bad landing options in 4. Now what about his ground speed? Oh my god, they actually... I swear, they gave Olimar, like, crack or something. He is zooming on the ground. He, oh my god, his dash speed is insane. Because one of his weaknesses was he was one of the slowest characters in the game. So characters out fast could just run at him and get in his face. Now, not going to happen anymore. He's going to be dashing around, outspeeding characters, and being really obnoxious on the ground. If he wasn't already. So that's really fun. Apparently, his down throw combo game may have been nerfed a little bit. Apparently, like... You can still probably get big things off of it, but I think you're losing things with Olimar, such as up throw, double up air, down throw, back air at decent percents. But he's still getting things like down throw, fair. He probably still gets like down throw, up smash at the right percents, down throw, forward smash. But we have to see. All oh, speaking of up smash, that move also being like combos into itself and up air. So like at 0%, you probably get something like up smash, up smash, up air, up air for like 40-ish, which is absurd. Because you can probably go for things like even up air into down air. And then fast fall and force like a weird like tech situation if the opponent's not ready for it. Or reset. So that's pretty funny. So it's jab, jab, grab. Uh, I don't know if there's any massive changes to his tilts. I apparently narrowed no longer comes in the up tilt, so that's a minor nerf, but whatever. Not be able to run through people's shields is pretty significant, honestly, because Olimar would love to run past someone and pivot grab them because his dash grab was so laggy and his standing grab was so laggy. So that hurts. A little bit. It just means we have to use a lot more like running at someone than run back. Pivot grab, which is fine. And overall, it seems like Olimar is still going to be able to maintain the same, uh, the same mix of crazy good offense and really strong defense in Smash 4 that let Olimar players be very unique and mix up and actually be a very versatile character. While getting all these massive buffs to make basically every matchup better for him. People over hyping this character up as an amazing character, like top tier for sure, potentially best character in the game. And, well, I'm not sure we be best character in the game. I'm sure characters that 
are very fast and can just jump on top of him and outrange him and deal with Pikmin are going to be strong versus him. I imagine we are going to see a very strong Olimar. And let's just say, if you guys didn't like playing Olimar in Smash 4, you should get used to the matchup now because in Ultimate, oh man, I'm pretty sure like Shutan, Mario, myself, Solomar, uh, what, Green Beast, and so many good Olimar players are going to be putting in massive work with this character, and I am very excited. So, I may have missed some things that I had, let me know in the comments below. And with that, peace out. Let me know what uh, character you want to see next for this video, and Ultimate comes out on what, 30-ish days? Not even. By the way, I am doing Ultimate giveaway on my Twitter. Um, if you look through my tweets, you'll find something that I probably would just have retweet after the video is over. You can want one of four copies of Ultimate by just retweeting it, following, etc, etc. Anyway, guys, self-promotion done. Peace out.